Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. We'll explore a crucial aspect of investment management, how to strategically sell investments to meet cash needs while maintaining your portfolio's balance and long-term goals during market corrections. Investors typically establish a target asset allocation based on their risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. This allocation determines the percentage of their portfolio they invest in each asset class. In this hypothetical portfolio allocation, 60% is invested in stocks, 30% in bonds, and 10% in cash. Selling investments during a market correction can be a daunting task, particularly when faced with the prospect of locking in losses. Rebalancing during market corrections can be challenging. However, there are strategic approaches you can take to minimize the impact on your portfolio and ensure you're making informed decisions that align with your long-term financial objectives. Consider an investor with a $1 million portfolio. The investor's target asset allocation is 60% stocks, 30% bonds, and 10% cash. This means that the investor should have $600,000 invested in stocks, $300,000 invested in bonds, and $100,000 invested in cash. After experiencing market turbulence, the stock portion of the portfolio declines by $150,000. Simultaneously, the investor requires $30,000 from the portfolio to cover an expense. This presents a challenge for the investor, as they need to address both the market decline and the immediate cash need without disrupting their overall asset allocation strategy. In this case, the portfolio is out of balance. The stock allocation is now less than the target asset allocation of 60%, and the investor needs to withdraw $30,000. What should the investor sell to meet the cash need and restore the target asset allocation? Selling investments to meet a cash need can be a difficult decision. However, by following these guidelines, investors can make sure that they are selling the right investments and that they are maintaining their desired asset allocation. Now, the value of the portfolio is $850,000. The investor needs to withdraw $30,000, which leaves the value of the portfolio at $820,000. We will now apply the asset allocation to the new portfolio balance. 60% of $820,000 will be allocated to stocks, 30% will be allocated to bonds, and 10% will remain as cash. Cash remaining should be $82,000. This is calculated as $100,000 minus 10% of $820,000. Bond holdings should be $246,000. This is calculated as $300,000 minus 30% of $820,000. Cash remaining plus bond holdings is $72,000. This is calculated as $18,000 plus $54,000. Surplus to buy stock, $42,000. This is calculated as $72,000 minus $30,000, the amount of cash withdrawn. Through strategic maneuvering, the investor successfully restored the portfolio's asset allocation to its original composition of 60% stocks, 30% bonds, and 10% cash. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.